I am your host for this evening's Joseph Richards show. That's right, of course, the Joseph Richards. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. As Kira mentioned, uh, this is going to be an evening of improvisational stand-up comedy. So, as you can imagine, that's going to have some improv, it's going to have some stand-up, and it's going to have some adopted child of both of them. Mainly because we haven't gotten the DNA test back, so we're not exactly sure where the child comes from. That's just a little taste of what you can expect tonight. And it's exactly how well I expected it to go. So this is going to be going to be wonderful. Uh, again, as Kira mentioned, I do want to thank the, uh, thank the downtown artery for having us. I want to thank all of you for coming tonight. Uh, as you probably saw, there is a jar. This is a completely self-funded slash crowd-funded slash, I guess that's just funded, um, tour. Uh, so yeah, if you feel like giving tonight, even if it's just to get me out of your town, that would be much appreciated. Uh, there is also a GoFundMe thing that Kira made that's awesome, and it's on the table. It's the only thing on the table that's not a beverage or an electronic device. Excellent. So, let's get things started uh, by, by first having me reveal something about myself that you didn't probably know about me, but I do feel that I need to share that tonight. I feel like we're in kind of an, an intimate um, gathering and I feel that I can tell you things that have really been bothering me for a while. And of course you know me now as Joseph Richards, host of the Joseph Richards Show, but tonight I do need to let everybody know that I'm also the elusive co-founder slash founder of Bitcoin. Yes. That's right. Yeah, I know, yes, thank you. You know the name I use online. I know that other guy claimed credit, but no, it's not him. It's me. So thank you for having me. <laughs> it's great to be out from behind a computer or modem or whatever I use. I don't know. So let's start things off with a, a little bit of the improv, improv comedy. Uh, and it's a segment, of course, you all know it, you love it. It's called Box of Jokes. Wow, amazing. Amazing what words can do. So box of jokes, all of you, or most of you, or some of you, or none of you, wrote down words or phrases on the pink pieces of paper before you came in here, you folded them up, and you put them in the box of jokes. Now, I've not seen any of these uh, prior to this exact moment. So what I'm going to do, my job tonight as the host of the Joseph Richards Show, is to pull one of these words or phrases out of the box and make a joke about it. So let's, let's see what happens tonight. And keep in mind, you wrote these, so you're partially to blame if this goes poorly. The word is vagina. <laughs> so clearly, people noticed that there are children in the audience. And I'd like to say, as tonight's joke about vagina, that uh, the vagina is no joke. What is really a joke is white men thinking that they rule the vagina. When they don't even rule in general. They drool, in fact. Best put down of life. Take it, white men like myself. So that's how Box of Jokes is going to work. For good measure, for those of you using the metric system, let's get did someone boo? I booed the metrics. Boo the metrics. That was a poorly timed boo. <laughs> it was too subtle to tell exactly what was happening. And I do want to let you know right now, if you do think about booing me, you are booing Bernie Sanders because he Bernie. gave a speech. Yeah, exactly, that guy. Uh, he gave a speech for me, and he gave a speech for Senator Barbara Boxer, and we are the same, and so, yes. I think that was on YouTube. Whatever, look it up and it'll be funny later. <laughs> Let's get back to the box of jokes. Let's see, two stuck together. Rosy palms. Rosy palms. So, when I went to middle school, which I went to for five years, it was a very long five years of my life. Actually, it's the same length as the other five years of my life, but it was still five years in middle school. When I was in middle school, I met a person named Daphne. Now, Daphne had a sister named 
Rosie. Uh, their last name was actually Johnson. So Daphne and Rosie Johnson were in middle school with me. Now, of course, they got out of middle school before I did because they went through the normal amount of time and I went through in five years. So it wasn't until many, 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 many years later uh, when I got out of college, which took me a really long time, and I was working a job at a delicatessen that Rosie came in and ordered a sandwich. And I said, wait a minute, before I give you your sandwich, are you Rosie Johnson? And she said, I used to be. Now I'm Rosie Palms. I said, well, that's interesting because you're wearing gloves. And so it's very hard for me to tell that you changed your name because I can't see your wedding ring. Rosie Palms, everyone, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's how Lots of Jokes is gonna go. Now, um, tonight's improvisational stand-up comedy, and thank you for that clapping, that was amazing. Um, of course, there's the, the improvisation, there's the stand-up comedy, but we actually have some special guests tonight that I'm not sure if many of you are aware of will be here. I really wanna go ahead and get our first guest up here. If you've seen him before, you probably wouldn't be here now, but let's give it up for our first guest, world's foremost observational comic, Tom Foreman, Tom Foreman! Thank you, Joseph, and thank you, audience. Thank you, first of all, for keeping the applause going the entire time. I see that you're already keen to how shows work. So, as Joseph mentioned, I am Tom Foreman, the world's foremost observational comic. Now, if any of you have seen my videos before, you'll notice there's something different about me. The jacket. I'm wearing a different jacket tonight. Right. But I didn't expect you to notice that because I am, in fact, the world's foremost observational comic, and you are indeed not. If you were, I would have noticed, of course. So, let's start with explaining a little bit about what I do. So, uh, who, who here understands what is observational comedy? What is observational comedy? Raise your hand and I'll call on you to answer me. Does anyone know? There's someone over here, yes. It's like, did you ever notice this? Did you ever notice that? Like Seinfeld-esque. Right, we don't use that name up here on stage, right? I see what you're saying. She said a name, the guy whose first name starts with Jerry, last name ends with S and starts with S. It, it's a possessive, it ends with S. Anyway, yes, so you were exactly right. So did you notice this, did you notice that? And here's something funny about it, right? So like, hey, what about this table right here? Here's something funny about that table. It's got three legs instead of four, but it's still balanced perfectly well. So, you know, things like that. So you've got, so that is of course what I'm going to do tonight. And the reason I'm going to do that, the reason I was invited here by Joseph is in fact, I'm the world's foremost observational comic. So that's the thing that I do. It's in fact, the thing that I do better than anyone in the world. So what you're probably thinking right now is, is Tom Foreman, world's foremost observational comic, because I know that's now how you think of me in your head. Tom Foreman, world's foremost observational comic. It seems a bit like you're stalling, like you're trying to find something to observe, but I can tell you that is not the case. Now, it's, it's not the case because there's something else you don't know about me, and that's in fact that I can block myself from observing. I have a veil that can go down over my eyes, so all I see is a blur. For instance, I could barely tell someone was raising their head maybe over here. I couldn't even tell if it's a hand, just something went up and I thought I'll call on this person. So I have a veil right now in front of my eyes, so I really can't see anything, I can't tell what's happening, but I can lift that veil at any moment. And so that is what I'm going to do tonight. And the reason I'm going to do that, of course, as you probably guessed at this point, is because I'm in fact the world's foremost person of observing and making comedy about it. So, without further, further ado, it is time for, actually, is everyone ready for me to lift the veil? Because, yes, excellent. If you haven't seen this before, then it really is going to blow your mind like a vacuum cleaner in your ear. That would be sucking your mind, though, wouldn't it? Thanks a lot, Dyson, who is from my home country. Did you know, by the way, that 
John Dyson, Jim Dyson, whatever his name is, he failed many, many times to find a bag, a bagless vacuum, but then he succeeded. And I think we should, if we take nothing else from this show, we should definitely take that home with us, that inspirational story. So I think on that note, it's definitely time for me to observe something and make comedy about it because I'm in fact Tom Foreman, the world's foremost observational comic. So three, two, one, the veil is lifted. One moment, please. Justin. Yes, come here, Justin. My assistant, Justin, everyone. Justin, let's give him a hand. This is all, this is not strange at all. This is obviously part of the show here, Justin. Um, so, uh, you know, veil down. Don't need that right now. Justin, um, you've been my assistant for how long? Right, three years, right, right. And you got the job by going to my, my website, right? And then clicking the apply now to be an intern button. Not an intern button, but the button that said apply now to be an intern. You clicked it, this is not the time, just, this is completely fine. This is completely fine. I'm just, Justin and I, having a bit of a chat, as we say, where I'm from, the home of Dyson. Dysonville. Anyway. So just so you click that, so you know that I'm the world's foremost observation comic. Do you know how I got there? I got there by knowing what was going to be happening in the audience. You promised me someone would be wearing a kangaroo outfit, and someone else would be wearing a top hat, and someone would be holding, like, glow sticks. Right? Like glow sticks. I could make fun of glow sticks all day, right? Like, I used to kill at raves. Really, I gave too much E to someone once, so... This is strange. This is totally fine, by the way, uh, audience. Thank you for, I'm just, I'm just talking here. So, um, Justin, are you even listening? Justin? Justin, are you even there? Justin, has anyone seen Justin? Has anyone seen my assistant Justin? Did, oh, someone veil lifted, yes, you saw him? Did he go out the window? Justin, what a pain. Oh my God, I can't believe Justin went out the window. Anyway, um, as you know, I am Tom Foreman, world's foremost observational comic. Thank you so much for having me tonight. It's amazing.